<laughs> Thank you. I'm arranging our space at the moment right now on special. And I've been watching the, the that Netflix thing about the BitConnect. So in 2023, what happens actually, it's went down and they somehow ecosystem tried to um, push the IOTs connected with blockchain or the DAOs or the many other things at the same time. I don't know, we had all these topics and still I don't see anything. Of course, we've got a few predictions that we need to adjudicate as a team. We've got a thumbs up or thumbs down these things. So number one, profile music person doing NFTs with their events. Hmm. How high profile? <laughs> what is measure for high profile? Like yeah, so not pay this with or? we made a we made a threshold here. So we want somebody mentioned. We want the news release mentioned in the Rolling Stone magazine, which we can find, or the Billboard artist Hot 100 from the end of 2022. So that would be not a new artist. The Hot 100 is that's the list. Are we including Nasty Nas? Because I know he dropped some NFT. And i um, seeing an article right now from January 2022. Let's look up Nasty. Nasty is not on the Hot 100. Okay, I found something, I guess. There are people here. Hmm, one of them almost sold 5,000 tokens with their... NFTs, the chain smokers. Chain smokers announced in May 2022, but let's find the thing in 2022. Mm -hmm. Use Google because now I see I see this on the Royal, mm -hmm. but they're selling at twenty dollars, and I'm not gonna. So let's let's. I want to find an official news release. Okay, so, there's something on the Rolling Stone about music NFTs, but from 2021. I don't think we have musician here. Okay, Stu Orki is already. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I just want to make sure that I'm following along. Um, we're, we're trying to see if there are any like major artists during 2023 that released NFTs. Um, you may want to look into uh, BT. He's a DJ. He also makes music. He's been around for decades. I'm actually trying to scoured the net right now myself. <laughs> uh, see below. I do remember that guy um, from Clubhouse Dice. So number two, um, some type of a U.S. executive branch person or a, a senator or house representative is going to sell something uh, capitalizing on their reputation. We, are, we already checked this one off. This was Trump cl uh, collectible trading cards, which are officially endorsed. The Mugsot <laughs> edition. Uh, we went through that on a previous episode, so that one's checked off. Number three, somebody using Instagram selling NFTs from Instagram, achieving a market value of over $10 million. Cool. Now, NFTs used to sell directly on Instagram. That is ended. So let's first make a note of that. So is there any other way to count this as a win? Is selling those posts as NFTs for a lot of money? We're gonna phone a friend on this one. Uh, it would be awesome for me if I can sell some. Yeah. Ten million dollar, it's okay. I mean, would be better if fifteen, but ten million dollar also. Well, sometimes you gotta you gotta discount it to win it. <laughs> Next, somebody in Walmart. So something in Walmart has QR codes that are kind of like a little more traceable at the serial number level. Has anybody seen this? Has anybody? physically walked into a Walmart lately. Um, I have been in Walmart. I have been looking for this and I have not seen this. I've looked in 
the food aisle, and I'm, I'm seeing more food with QR codes on them. I've seen a fruit with a QR code on it. I think it was like an avocado or something. They were not serial numbered, but they were just like for the avocado. Now, the reason this is important is because there's, even though Apple products have a barcode on them, their barcodes, they're linear. Every barcode that's meant for consumers to read is going to be a QR code because you can link directly to a URL. So next, we're looking for a game with an MAU better than Horizon games. So I'll show you that in a second. That has some type of a usable asset in the game, which is somehow recorded to an immutable ledger. There's a lot of games with NFTs in them. In FIFA, FIFA 2024, I count that as an NFT. The things you buy in there, there's a marketplace, you can trade them, they're serial numbered. We're just wanted to see something that's more, a little more interoperable and kind of publishes that information. There, I mean, it's a good business move. We've talked about this very clearly. If you've got a thing and you put a serial number on it, it sells for more. Quick interjection. We have a new blog post I wanted to show off. And the blog post is, if you have 10,000 of a thing, which one should you buy? So this is a problem that maybe some of you are facing, right? There's a 10,000 of them and you don't know which one you want and you just care about the number. So here's a website, I'll show you real fast. And so for example, if you've got Sue squares, then you get the list of the numbers you have, and you paste in the list of numbers. Then what it does is, is it filters the list for you a bunch of different ways. So it's gonna give you the palindromes, maybe that's something you care about palindromes. And so out of the list of numbers that are available, it's gonna give you the palindromes. 1771 isn't available from this list. One digit numbers, two digit numbers, three digit numbers, numbers that could be birthdays. It knows the different ways you can make a birthday into a number. Prime numbers, powers of two, Fibonacci numbers. You could even, so these are all the prime number two squares that are available. And you can go back and you can paste that smaller list in here. So now you've got prime numbers that are also palindromes or three digit prime numbers or prime number birthdays. This is kind of something I saw a few times and I know that People like the updated list. I've seen people managing this in Excel and they kind of have formulas for this, but here's what page that does that for you. And that's the end of your interruption. So blasting that little blog post and putting it in the show notes for you. In, in my years of going after rare numbers, the, the hardest aspect of it has always been finding out which numbers are not taken. That's, that's probably like two squares is a pretty good job at telling you like, you know, what, which ones haven't been bought yet. But let's say you wanted like a Discord, like like a short Discord like username. Like it's so annoying having to spam Discord for like which short numbers are available. There's um there's a thing for that. I think it's called usernames.io. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. I'll, I'll never let go of uh, my my square forty ninety six. Yeah, that one's to like to the, to the right a little bit. Oh, 4096. 4096, 40. yeah. Top right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I need to update that stuff. Now, if you haven't done it in a minute, the Sue Squares page to update your square has gotten way better. Cool. Like hey, before you get too far, and and um, I just wanted to get back um, to the the QR code thing. So, like, this isn't exactly Walmart. So, I know it doesn't technically qualify for that one, um, but like uh, within the past couple of days, I actually noticed on um, the the bag the bags from um, Whole Foods actually have um, the QR codes on them, some kind of a hex number. There's a pattern to it. Yeah. Nice. We've got to look into that for sure. Okay, we have a couple more bingo items, um, and we'll wrap this up. Reddit avatar NFTs are usable somewhere other than Reddit. Has anybody seen that yet? Some people, that's funny that X is calling itself Twitter, Grok, okay. Uh, here are some tweets. So live Reddit avatar mashup. Next, more than $10 billion of asset holder funds are lost, locked, inaccessible due to some smart contract failure or exchange. Oh my God, was that 2023? That feels like it was ages ago. Silicon Valley Bank collapsed with March 10th, 2023. Yeah. I don't see anything that's like FTX. I'm surprised Tether didn't rug pull yet, but uh, you know. Is B and B still hanging on? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
CZ kind of just uh he's got to tap out. You know, he's he's got wrestled and he's down. He's just gotta he's gotta tap the mat like okay, and then pay a fine and then he'll be fine. New regulation makes Binance, Tron, or similar sized exchange impermissible in the U.S. like Tornado Cash. We're getting close to BNB. So what was the ruling? I think it was uh, BUSD is what got um, basically blocked out. Oh, this is the anti-money laundering, unlicensed money transmitting. Yeah, and I think part of that settlement was the CEO steps down and I think monetary fines. And that was it. Okay, next on the bingo, Twitter Spaces doubles MAU. Grok says, so I asked it the first time, it said 3 billion, and now it says 12 million. Whoa, whoa, screeching halt. According to the reputable data from a market research forum, MAU is now 12.3 for X Spaces, up from 5.6 last year, close to double. Grok is not really useful to talk to, but it is usually pretty good for finding like a specific tweet. All right, um, so maybe we don't have an exact source for this, but according to Grok, yes. What is the the scorecard for NFT twenty twenty three bingo? I'm gonna say verdict: NFTs are dead, right? According to the bingo. Now we were looking for some pretty big things. We were looking for a blow up bigger than FTX. We were looking for somebody getting banned from the US market. We we're looking for Walmart to change how they sell stuff. We were looking for some pretty big things, but NFT had a lot of hype in 2021 and 2022. So if any of the hype, selling a picture for 70 million, the ridiculous ups and downs, the people getting in lots of trouble, the hacks, if any of that will be worth it, it had to be for something, not just for itself, right? It had to be a means for an ends. We would have seen something very unpredictable and large happen, and it didn't happen. So, I think I think the, my verdict here is that the hype of 2021 and 2022 was not justified by the outcomes we got in 2023. Who's with me on that? Yeah. Cool. Uh, we have travel. So I wanted actually I want to ask everybody. I do my travel. I have a family, so I need to sometimes uh, plan my travel in advance. Not like. A few years ago, and it's like, go to Hong Kong now. And I'm like, yeah, be there. Well, that was before I had kids. Uh, now it's kind of like, hey, what are you doing this year? And it's like, oh, here's where I might go. So here's where I'm going. NFT NYC, that's a must. April, PubCon, Las Vegas, possibly April. BananaConf, that's a must. In Tallinn, China in June or July, that's a must. Private ve venture, uh, just crazy. Crypto is just getting started in China, if you can believe that. Buenos. Is there a special link for it so we can check? For China? Hell no. You got to know people. If you're going, I will we'll talk. Uh, Buenos Aires is not confirmed, but I usually go there in uh, July for like a workshop or something. Maybe we'll do it in Spanish this time. Let's see. So I don't need a translator. Palo Alto, that'll be July. That's confirmed. Maybe workshops, maybe crypto, family camping. We've got Edutech in Melbourne. That might happen in August. I've got Smashing Conf in October, which is for web design. Always a good time. Moodle Moot in Mexico for online learning. And Helsinki maybe in November for kind of starting up businesses. And then every Tuesday, right here with you guys. So those are the things that are confirmed and then maybes. I just wanna open it up. I mean, what's on, what's on all yours is like must travel. For 2024. I need to get beyond the grocery store. Getting 10 plus miles out of the house. So you're basically still yeah. in COVID mode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been in COVID mode since my first, my first was born. So to be I hear you, brother. I That's why I'm negotiating with my wife now. I need to do what you're doing. Oh, really, really good way I could recommend the, um, is um, NFC Lisbon. So non-fungible conference in Lisbon, great wives. But, uh, yeah, my calendar is basically NFC Paris. Uh, we'll go to Token 2049 in Dubai. Um, NFC Lisbon, NFC Tallinn. Uh, some good ones that you have on this as well. Beautiful. Please, please do smash on this uh, tweet thread. Let's make this big enough so that we have excuses to tell our spouses that we can get out, right? Otherwise, we can't get out. Facts. I, I, I just tell my family I'm going to prison whenever I travel. 
No questions asked.